वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल लुकिंग एट इम्पॉर्टेंट हेडलाइन फ्रॉम द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर फॉर ट्वेंटी एथ मार्च ऑन द फ्रंट पेज यू हैव दिस न्यूज रिगार्डिंग हाउ कांग्रेस हैज नॉट येट सील्ड इट्स अलायसेज लोकसभा पोल जस्ट थ्री वीक्स अवे इट्स एज कांग्रेस येट टू सील अलायसेज एंड टॉक्स आर ऑन फॉर डील्स इन क्रूशियल स्टेट्स लाइक वेस्ट बंगाल बिहार एंड दिल्ली then below you have protests after jn ki teacher dies in custody so this is 28 year old school teacher who died in police custody in shrinagar which has sparked spontaneous protest and outrage from political parties in kashmir on page 5 you have three killed as under construction building collapses in karnataka 25 of you are trapped in this around 30 have been rescued so far to So nearly 500 policemen and home guards have been deployed for rescue efforts here. On page seven, you have GOMs on lynchings, harassment on hold. So these are group of ministers which have been formed, but then presently they are on hold. Any decision on these two important issues will now be taken by next government after election. And this is India reaches out to Mozambique. So this is in relief. to the cyclone which has hit the country recently so navy has joined in the rescue efforts here in mozambique which is an african nation an island nation you know uh, to the west of uh, the african continent to the east of the african continent then next is pinaka pinaki chandra ghosh appointed first lokpal so now the announcement was made of the name and now the news is that he has been appointed by the president as the first lokpal of the country along with eight members of the lokpal so is the chairman of the lokpal then this is the editorial page here the first editorial is goa and roll it so this is regarding how goa needs political stability to be able to crack down on rent seeking and other corrupt activities and below you have a fight for kiev so this is ukraine capital of ukraine is kiev so the presidential campaign here has been animated by the debate on ukraine's place in the world so ukraine has been seeing various crises uh, russia has also has to, uh, strained relations with ukraine so it also ukraine also aspires to be part of european union so this is regarding that the lead article above is what has changed post balakot so it is not much the post pulwama attack timeline shows that india did not cross any pakistani red line so nothing has changed as such post the pulwama attacks and this is on the learning curve so this is regarding how systemic approach to transforming education outcomes in india is leading to success so regarding how education you know has to be more, become more effective and this is the dome to protect is the constitution so it's not the masjid or is not the mandir but it's the constitution which needs to be upheld so it says a crucial question in the ayodhya matter concerns india's vision at independence and this is disempowering gram sabhas so this is regarding how forest rights act have been sabotaged which is uh, damaging democracy so we had seen forest rights act been in news also so those who are uh, you know who, whose uh, whose rights to forest have not been accepted they have to be evicted so that goes against the principles on the basis of which the forest rights act was enacted that those who are residing should be protectors of the environment in the forest then then on page 10 you have jet airways pilot set to set april 1 deadline for pay so this is a continuation of the front page news too we have seen jet airways is under crisis and now the pilots have also given a deadline for payment of salary and this is us report flags curves on indian india so human rights report of us for 2018 were released and it's it's annually released by us state department so 
it has assessment of uh, human rights across the globe so in 2018 india report covers a range of issues including media freedom forced disappearances custodial deaths and ngo clampdown so this is you know, issues as such highlighted in the us report on india so even it quotes 2018 world press freedom index on increasing attacks on journalists the world press freedom index of 2018 had also stated regarding attack on journalists in india then on international page you have uk to seek brexit extension till june 30 so the march deadline for brexit it seems cannot be achieved so britain is seeking extension of deadline now and this is signing fta with india not an immediate priority so this is uk minister saying that it is in the po- post brexit first year so it's not a priority that we want you uh, know an fta with india so it speaks speaks on that free trade agreement and this is because after exiting from european union britain will have to ha- forge new relations with each nation so with india to fta is been negotiated and this is h1b changes due to kick in from april 1 so us administration will start accepting h1b financial year 2020 applications from 1st april 2020 so on this now the changes which have been made like a new data hub will be created a change in how the lottery is conducted for the general category and advanced degree holders and changes to the mechanism of premium processing all this will kick in and on business page you have lnt offers dil and pr mindry founders say let's spark so this is regarding the hostile takeover news which came last and to bro it uh, you know uh, it actually took over mindry the so it says this is not a hostile take to take over as such so this is regarding that and below you have forex swap for liquidity has been received well says rbi governor so we had recently seen in news how rupees liquidity was sought to be enhanced through long term foreign exchange swap a first of its kind liquidity management policy so the rbi governor shaktikant das says that it has been well received then on page 14 you have builders get gst leeway till 31st march so gst council has allowed them to choose between old and new rates for under construction properties now and on the last page you have in a first woman begs able price for math so able price is the highest price for mathematics is like a nobel prize for math so it for the first time that a woman has won it it had been initiated not long back so in the last few years now we have a first woman winner so this is karen uhlenbeck she pioneered geometric analysis and gauge theory so these are the news items thank you for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website and enroll for the current affairs course the detailed video lectures will be provided plus also the pdfs are available on the website asha.com you can download them thank you